Hi, my name is Mary Hoffmeister and this is my indie. Hi everybody, welcome to this episode of Doing Indie. I'm the hostess with the most of Seth Hancock. This week we got an email from Mary Hoffmeister who said, Seth, you know, I love to drink, to dine, and to duck pin bowl. Well, Mary, you're in luck because we're here at the one place in Indianapolis where you can do it, and that's the Fountain Square Theater Building. This place has been around since the early 1900s. It's got an awesome rooftop restaurant, a great diner, a brand new smokehouse. Well, I can tell you all about it, but you know the person who should really tell you all about it is the man who single-handedly resurrected this building and helped to bring Fountain Square back to life, and that's Mr. Linton Kelver. What brought me to Fountain Square and the attraction was probably very simple. It was the bowling alley that had existed on the fourth floor of this building in 1928, and I had found that operation or that business in the late 80s and, and chose to attempt to require, acquire this uh, property. And then we also then reopened the Fountain Diner, which was part of the original Woolworth that opened in 1959, so that provided the food service initially for the bowling alleys to allow alcohol to be sold. I guess the idea of taking the Fountain Diner, which was originally opened by Woolworth in 59, and, and kind of changing that into the smokehouse that it is today was probably an evolution and had very little to do with Linton Calvert. It probably had more to do with my son-in-law, Matt Swartz, who is the, the chef for the Shelby Street Cafe and Bistro that serves on the roof that has been very successful. It has to do with my wife who really supported the idea of having more of a, a full service restaurant. And, and bottom line is, I think it's time for Fountain Square in terms of its maturity. I, I think we really have come full circle is that Fountain Square is a destination. It is an area that's appreciated. And another full service restaurant is ready and, and, and Fountain Square is prepared for us to, to open. We still have our tenderloins. We still have those that we prep hands-on, like the diner. We still have the cheeseburgers, the hamburgers, the uh, onion rings. But what we have done, and this is Matt's thing, we've done the barbecue. Uh, he does the, the brisket. He does the pulled pork. He does the ribs. And he knew that he could do the barbecue. Man, he has done a job. And my wife has helped with the decor. And all I am is a guy who said, no, no, no. And after three years, here we are doing exceptionally well. Hey, there you guys are. So you just met Mr. Fountain Square, Linton Calvert, and I bet you're ready to meet Mary Hoffmeister. Well, we are too, because we're excited to hear about how Mary found out about this place, what she loves doing here, and I'm sure you guys will see some great B-roll of Mary and her friends having a great time here because we didn't shoot this after we shot Mary, because I was out of town and then not feeling very well. About a year ago, a friend of mine came down from Illinois, and he is a huge bowler, and he was basically like, did you know that in Indianapolis, there is a place where you can still do duck pin bowling? And I was like, no, I don't know what duck pin bowling is. I don't know what that is about. And he was like, yeah, I'm very excited about it. We need to go. You can still do duck pin bowling. I've lived in Indianapolis my entire life, and there are a lot of bars to go to and there's a lot of clubs to go to. By coming down to Fountain Square and going to a restaurant and having dinner in a unique atmosphere and then going next door to play duck pin bowling, you have the best of like three worlds. You can drink, you can eat, and you can also participate in a very unique sport. And it's just an awesome thing to do on a Friday night.
Well, hey, that wraps up this episode of Doing Indie. Thanks to our good friends, Mary Hoffmeister and Linton Calvert for letting us come down here and check out all this great stuff. You know, there's really only one place in town where you can do all this and have a great time, and that's at the historic Fountain Square Theater Building. This place has been around since the beginning of the 1900s. It was used as a movie theater at one point. It's got an awesome ballroom, a fantastic rooftop restaurant, a great smokehouse, as you saw, one of the best diners I've ever experienced in my entire life and some really, really cool duck pin bowling. The thing is, is that you guys gotta get out and just experience all of it because you can't just experience Fountain Square Theater Building in a day. This is like one of those weekend things that you have to come out and check out all the great stuff that's going on here. So for Doing Indy, I'm your host, Seth Hancock. And remember, in Indianapolis, it's always so easy to do so much. You just have to get out there and do something. See you guys next week. I love morons.